Hello friends, this video on areas of parallelogram and triangles part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's see the converse of this theorem. That is, if there are two parallelograms and they are on the same days and having equal area, are they with the same balance? So you see, if they are on the same days, base and they have equal area. Then are they sharing the same balance? That is the converse theorem. Okay. So let us see if we can prove this. Then we will see the blue parallelogram and then we will have another parallelogram. Let's take this here. Just to avoid moving it. Okay. P dash Q is altitude for parallelogram ABCD. P dash Q for parallelogram ABCD. And this is Q for ABCD. Parallelogram. And P2 is again also parallel to BC. And this is altitude for EFD. So we have to prove that given means given given that they are on the same base by construction and they have same area. So given that area of ABCD is equal to the area of ABC. Right? That is given. What do we have to prove? We have to prove that they are on the same parallel. So if they are on the same parallel, A P dash. A, B, E, F should come on the same line. A, B, E, F should be on the same line. And that line, that assume the line A, B, E, F, should be parallel to B, C. And that is possible only when P and P dash coincide. Or P dash. Correct. So that is what we prove. So if P and P dash coincide, then A, P, P, P dash, F all will be in the same line, and that will be parallel to DC. Right? That will be parallel because this line is parallel to DC and this line is parallel to DC. So that is what we have to prove. We have to prove that. If area of ABCD and area of EFCD is given the same parallelogram, then P and P dash should coincide. Right? You assume that they are not coinciding, but you have to prove that they should coincide. Hope the requirement is clear. So let's see this. So given area of this is this is statement number one. So area of ABCD is what? By base into height that is P U and so A B C D P dash and area of E F B C is what base into height speaking. 
from statement 1 area of abcd is equal to area of efcd so given area of abcd this is given equal to area of efdc or dc cross dash q is equal to dc into p dc dc cancel or p dash q is equal to now, with this, I can say that P and P dash coincide. And because C, Q is common, if they are saying that PQ is equal to P dash Q, that means P and P dash coincide. So, if P and P dash coincide, that means these two lines actually coincide. If these two lines coincide, they form a single line, and that line will be parallel to DC. Thus, the converse is true. So, even if we assume that Two parallelograms with the same base and equal area will not be between C in parallel, but we can prove that our assumption was wrong. That is, if there are two parallelograms and they have the same base and they are bit, they have same area, then they have to be between C in parallels. Okay. So the question is: if a triangle and the parallelogram are on the same base, so there's a triangle and there's a parallel. The same base and in the same parallel, and we have to prove that the area of triangle is half the area of parallel. So, this is a parallel, and let the base be AB here. Let's draw another triangle on the same base. Okay. Let the triangle be AB, and let this uh, old parallelogram be ABC. Okay. So, so, we had this parallelogram ABCD on the same base AB and the point E, and where we have drawn this. Triangle. Now we have to prove that they have, I mean, to prove area of triangle ABE is equal to half of area of ABC. That is what we have to prove. So let's join these points. And it will be We have seen that area of ABCD is equal to area of ABA. Why? Because the theorem parallelograms on the same base with AB and between same path. They have same area. Okay? The parallelogram on the same base AB is between same parallel, they have same area. Correct? And now if you divide these two by two, both divide by two. So on left hand side you get area of parallelogram ABC divided by two. Right side what do you get? So if you have a parallelogram A, B, F. Diagonal EB actually divides into two equal triangles. This is nothing but half of this area of triangle, uh, half of the area of parallelogram ABEF will be either area of this triangle or area of this triangle. Yeah, because in this parallelogram actually EF, EB, in this parallelogram EB, E and EB is a diagonal. Right, so we know that this will be half of this. So I can take it that this is nothing but triangle of AB. Why? Because diagonal divides parallelogram into two equal areas. That is something also we have to It's theorem. This is parallelogram. This is diagonal. So here you have triangle 1 and triangle 2 will be same. So that's what we have to prove, and we have proved it. Pretty easy. Let's take a few more examples. ABCD is a parallelogram. Okay. AE is parallel to DC. That is also CF is parallel to AD. Okay. If AB is equal to 16 centimeters. 
AB is equal to 8 centimeter. CF is equal to 10 nanometer by AB. See, area of ABCD is what? Any side into corresponding volume. You take the side as BC and then you have to take A or you can take side AD and you take all two. You see, various ways of writing parabola. Area, right? Or you can, thus we can say that DC into AE is equal to AD into FC because both are equal to nothing but area of this ABC. So what is DC? DC is given to be what? to AB. Right? This will be equal to AB opposite side of parallelogram. 16 into A, A is given A is equal to AD. AD is something you have to find. Do you have seen that this step? So you solve this. AD is nothing but 16 into 8 is equal to 128 by 10. And it's 2.48. And the unit is centimeters. So So AD is 12.8 cm. Let's take one example. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.